Hi, we're still blue. It's nice to see you. It's so nice to see you. You were a kick to the chest Every atomic moment uh, My name is Enrique Roselle. I play the guitar and I sing. Hello, my name is Sofia Soriano and I play guitar and sing and sometimes I play banjo. I'm Yamil. I play the bass in Still Blue. Daniel, started with keys but I play lap steel. Lap steel. I am Diego. Um, all these people are not so blue. I am so blue. <laughs> I graduated from college in 2019 and I really wanted to get this together for a long time. I was first generation immigrant, so it was a little bit of a hard sell with my parents until I graduated college. But um, I came back from an internship in Chicago, put up some flyers, and I met Danny first. Uh, we met at a at a Vicky Bakery where I looked like his stepfather buying him ice cream. Little by little, we went through a couple different iterations of Still Blue. Met Sophia at, at a Halloween party at Space Mountain. Rest in peace. I knew Yamil from local shows uh, we knew Diego because Sofia and Diego were at a we're in a band before this called the visual arts department it was a, a really gradual process piece by piece a lot of people and a lot of iterations to find the right people and that was always the intention is was finding the right people all right so what we were thinking is so we got those four songs um, yeah. we're gonna try to do like the, the three that we've already demoed should be pretty easy because we're just doing drums and vocals and, and, um, and guitars Don't <laughs> Hey Brewster. Brewster. I love how you just like give the biggest hand Yeah, pose Danny's of like, here, <laughs> devour. Uh, hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Animal Music Studios. In here with Still Blue. We're recording. We're putting people into tiny little boxes. In there. We're here with Thorn Braver. Okay. Shout out Thorn Braver. Hashtag Thorn Braver. Hashtag Thorn Braver. We're here with Val. Hello. Shout out Val. <laughs> Shout out to Meal, Danny, Sophia, the chickens. <laughs> All our parents for getting look, us look at that Look at how handsome he is. That's a handsome man right there. <laughs> Which one? That guy. All of them. Steph Estrada, the, the photographer and friend of ours, she sent me, she actually DM'd it to me and she was like, hey, you should look into this. So then I sent it to the band and we, we all thought it was a great idea and we loved what you all were doing already. So was, we got together and we made a, a video on Zoom and yeah, sent it in. So we were super excited to, to get involved with you all. You and Pau uh, have, have been great supporters of the band throughout uh, our venture out into the local scene. And it just uh, it made us feel it made us feel welcome and it made us feel like like we were worth something, you know? And it's uh, when we're starting off, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to find people that, that look at your art and see something. Animal Music Studios were one of the first people to, to look at us and be like, yeah, they can, they can do something. And, and you guys gave us a platform to do that, which we're very thankful for. Oh, totally. It's, it's been just the best fun that yeah, we could have asked for. Yeah, honestly, great. We were actually recording a bunch of demos and this came out of nowhere and it came on the right time because Perfect we needed timing. to record yeah. drums in a really cool space like this one. We had a lot of material they wanted to do and I think Animals gave us the space to do it, so it was great. I'll also add that the party that they threw that we were invited to was the best orchestrated party I've ever been to in my life. Um, you know, coming here, being invited by Mati and Pau, you know, when they gave us a call, I was I was excited just to talk to them. You know, we've become friends through all this. We understand the process and, and uh, how, like, you know, sometimes you get things, sometimes you don't get things. So we were totally cool. And we actually weren't expecting to be called for the residency for four residents. And so we thought that you all were maybe going for a variety of different artists. We just started recording stuff on our own, but we were so happy, you know, when we got called in. Coming in here, seeing all the different opportunities we have even the tiny organs on the side all the tiny different synths and organs and instruments around here this is Pao. this is who we were talking about we love her absolute legend listen to thorn braver stream thorn braver right now <laughs> Every opportunity that you have as the same level, don't like underplay something if it's small because it might end up leading to something else. What you're doing seriously and don't be scared to like be serious about it. Like it's not, you're not pretentious or something just because you care about what you're making. Find people that you like making stuff with, that you enjoy doing this with because that makes everything so much easier. 
don't be an asshole to people. People can help you in ways that you wouldn't expect and you can make cool connections in a way that you wouldn't expect. Also, don't think that just because like you're small and no one owes you that like you can't try to do things that seem out of way too out there for you. Like you never know. What's the worst thing you're gonna say? No. Not only be serious about what you're doing, but take your craft seriously. Try to listen to it and be honest about it. Try to be honest with yourself and you'll it'll go a long way. Hey, I've only used that chord like seven times. Paint my funny? Paint me funny. Paint my funny. Paint my funny. Paint my funny. Gotta load the firmware. This is my home. Bro, he literally you cannot see him. This black. I was in the cool. Oh my god. You guys went so fast because it had to recharge in like 10 seconds. <laughs> Could you let me hear that track and then let me double it with that track? Oh, no, okay, yeah, got you. Going like through my ears? Ready? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, I'm on engineer duty now. Uh, <laughs> I'm feeling great about it. Drummer, guitarist, and engineer. And a uh, good vibe bringer as well. Thanks for <laughs> It's always just, it's a great opportunity to begin with, whether you are established or not. And if it's something that you're not used to, it's like the best thing for anyone artistically is to just be able to put yourself in situations you're not comfortable with. And you do have the support of the people around you here to help you through the experience. I walked into this place and I and I looked around and it felt like I'm not in Miami. It felt like I was in the, in the north of England. Like I, I look I look behind me and like, it, it looks like real world studios, like Peter Gabriel's studio. It, it really transports you to another place and it really gets your creative juices flowing and it's um it's something that you can't find in every studio you know a lot of studios are very sterile and very clean um because this is this is super clean but but um, <laughs> the, uh, it's, a, it's 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 like actually clean but the the aesthetic value of it and 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 the character of it you know like it, it really feeds into the art that you're making here and um it's something that i don't think you can find any other place in miami just being able to use all of this equipment it almost feels i almost feel i feel bad you know like like coming in here you know Spending time with Matias, you know, taking his time and Bao's time and the staff's here's time. It's just, uh, it's really beautiful that we get to do this and being able to use all of this equipment. It would be, you know, the, the only thing we'd say is like maybe, you know, it would be cool to get like a couple more hours. But besides that. So who wouldn't want a couple yeah, who more hours? Want, like, yeah. Yeah. That's like, yeah. We need one more day. Exactly. We just stay for like, yeah, three weeks, here? you know? Can I just yeah, we, here? yeah, we could like put some tents in the back. Yeah, I did want to do that. <laughs> yeah. And then besides, <laughs> I, just, I, I messed with him earlier about that. I was like, you wanted to sleep in the back and he shut you down. <laughs> just the team here has been so sweet and there's like really nothing that we can say, you know, for them to do better. It's been absolutely beautiful and we're insanely grateful. Hi, we're Hi, so we're blue. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Dude, I, I want to go home, dog. <laughs>